Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a ghost flash frame effect. So I've got this clip on the timeline, and in order to create these flash frames, there's two ways we can actually do it. So you could use whatever you prefer for your workflow. Let's pretend like we're syncing it to the music or whatever beat we have. So here's a, a nice beat on the drum or whatever they're playing in the background there. You can see it's a spike in the audio form. And if I want to create a flash frame here, what I can do, the first method and the method that I kind of like, is just make sure you're on the composition window here. And you should see this little screenshot or export frame button. The shortcut for this is Shift plus E. Now you make sure you just check import into project and you can choose to put all of these screenshots in their own folder for whatever project you're working on or put them on your desktop. I'd, I'd suggest you put them in a folder, but press OK and you'll see that that screenshot will pop up into your window. Now you can just make sure you keep your timeline scrubber exactly where it is and click and drag this screenshot onto the timeline and then click to highlight it and in the effects control panel, set the blending mode to screen. That'll give you that bright flash. Technically, you could set it to whatever blending mode you want if you want to experiment with multiply or darker blending modes for different cool effects. But for the base effect, I'm going to set it to screen to show you guys. Then you want to right click on the right end of the clip and apply default transitions, which will add a nice crossfade out. Then you click and extend that crossfade all the way in and then shorten the clip to whatever duration length you want. And when I play that back, you should see a nice flash frame effect on that point that we made. Now, the second way that you can do this is go to the point that you want to create the flash frame effect. You right click and choose insert frame hold segment. And what that'll do is it'll create a little segment of a screenshot. And then you can drag that onto a track above the clips and then right click and ripple delete to delete that space in between or drag everything back over. And then this will essentially serve as your screenshot and you could do the same thing. Click on it, set it to a blending mode that you like, like screen, and then right click on the end and apply default transitions and then pull that crossfade all the way in. So that's the same effect. Now the, there's downsides and positives to both. For example, each time you create a screenshot and put it in your project media bin, it also will create an actual JPEG file on your desktop or whatever folder you have to keep track of. So you might end up creating a lot of different JPEGs if you use a lot of screenshots. However, this second way kind of involves more steps and it also creates a cut and splits the clip kind of. So if you're working with an intricate project where you have lots of things spaced out and you don't want to mess up the movement where things get pushed to the right, then you might want to consider doing it the first way. You can always right click and join the cuts again so that there's not a cut. But as I said, there's positives and negatives to both sides. But whatever way you choose, hopefully you learned how to create this ghost flash frame effect and you could use it in your projects and videos in the future. If you guys did like this video, definitely leave a like on it below and let me know what you thought in the comments. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that, at Justin Odisho is my username. It's the same on everything. So you can send me a link for examples of effects that maybe you want to learn. And definitely subscribe to stay tuned for future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.